The Fix Focus system is a completely automatic system, and there is no need to manually set it up. The solar tracker used in this system has a series of complementary circuits. In this program, we describe the complementary circuits of the solar tracker system. Thank you for your support, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to all dear ones. Welcome to the Fixed Focus program. I hope all of you are doing well. In this program, I would like to mention a specific case regarding the solar tracker on the fixed focus system. The detector used in the fixed focus system, which I explained in the previous videos, has a specific problem. This tracker is disrupted when the weather is cloudy and continues to track. As you can see, the solar dish is up and no light is focused on the focus. In fact, the sun has set and the system is turned off, even though the weather is partly cloudy. We have to use a complementary circuit to fix the defect of the solar tracking system, which I placed on top of the tracker. With this circuit, we can fix this tracker defect. But there is another problem as well. Dish is now in front of sunset. And tomorrow morning the sun is visible from the rise part. And because our tracker has 180 degrees of vision, the tracker is unable to track its back. And if it is in this state, it can continue tracking when the sun is in its sight. And this happens when the sun is in the middle of the sky. In order for the dish to be in the sunrise position, I have placed a photocell here. So that when it gets dark, the rotation of the solar dish can be done to the required extent. This rotation can be between 100 and 180 degrees depending on the circuit setting. And it is only enough that the sun is in the 180 degree field of view of the tracker at sunrise. Well, let's go for the introduction and description of the circuit. This is the sunset that the sun has weak radiation. We found that the tracker when the weather is cloudy it has a disorder. Of course, dark clouds are less of a problem, and it is the white clouds that cause the problem. And this disturbance causes the system to mistake the direction of the sun by itself. And the command given by the tracker to the motors causes the system to rotate by itself. Of course, this mistake does not cause system failure but it is better to prevent it. Well, now we have to prevent the error of the tracker working in front of cloudy weather. For this, we use several photocells that are placed in parallel. Of course, three 5mm photocells are enough, as you can see in the figure, and be sure to solder them together. The best place to place these photocells is either under the tracker or on the tracker. And photocells must not be in direct sunlight. For this I put them in a resin mold and mounted them on the tracker. In these pictures, the photocell screen is facing forward and is placed in the frame. Now we have to make a suitable circuit for these photocells. Because the accuracy of the circuit must be suitable, I designed a circuit with a 741 IC. This circuit should distinguish the difference between cloudy and non-cloudy weather. This circuit can interrupt the positive current of the solar tracker circuit when the weather is cloudy. and the tracker system turns off. You see the numerical value of the parts.
And this is the built form of the circuit. You can use the ready circuits in the market. But if you make them yourself, you will know what you did and you will act faster in troubleshooting. You can see two examples of photocell circuits available in the market. Well, now you have to connect the circuit to the tracker control circuit. You can see the final form of such a circuit in the picture. Well, suppose we have connected the photocell circuit to the tracker circuit. And we have glued the photocells on the tracker. And to adjust, it is enough to put your hand in front of the photocell and create a shadow on the photocell. And by turning the potentiometer in the photocell circuit, adjust it so that it lights up when there is a shadow of our hand. Therefore, by creating the shadow of our hand, we can activate the photocell circuit. Of course, it is better to put your hand at a distance of more than half a meter and not to do this from a close distance. With this circuit, there will be no more disturbance in the rotation. And the system stays off as long as there is cloud. Well, let's go for the second circuit of the sunset and the sunrise. In this section, we want to talk about changing the direction of the dish from the sunset to the sunrise. Suppose the sun dish in the fixed focus system is turned off in sunset mode. If the dish is placed in the same position, when the sun rises tomorrow, the system will not be active until the sun is in the middle of the sky. And so we will lose half the time of the day. So we have to do something that the solar dish moves at night and be placed against the sunrise. And it is enough that the engine horizontal system to be activated. It is not necessary that the dish should be placed exactly in front of the sunrise. because our tracker has a 180 degree field of view. Various circuits can be used to perform this operation. But here I have used two simple circuits. You can see the first circuit in the figure. The 20 microfarad capacitor located between the base and the collector causes a delay in the circuit's response. And you can make this photocell circuit easily. You can see the values of the parts. And because the photocell circuit only wants to be activated in the dark. We do not need a more complicated circuit. Of course, you can use another equivalent circuit as well. And I think the simplicity of the circuit is an advantage. So, the work of the first circuit is to attract a small relay when the air is completely dark. When the first circuit is activated when it gets dark, it activates the second circuit through a small relay. The second circuit is a custom timer for this system, which can be set from 30 seconds to 6 minutes. And the setting of this time depends on the rotation speed of the horizontal motor of your system. As you can see in the figure, this circuit stays on until the capacitor is charged and causes the horizontal motor to move. And the discharge of the capacitor is done very slowly and the Li is completely discharged for tomorrow night. You can see the fiber printed circuit board along with the desired values. The amperage of the relay in this circuit depends on the electric power of the horizontal motor. 
and it can be considered from 3 amperes and above. We have assumed that we have installed the circuit of the first part, which is related to the detection of cloudy weather. Now we assume that the cloud detection circuit is installed. When the weather gets dark, the cloud detection circuit is activated 100% and the positive current of the tracker circuit is cut off. In this case, the DC motor related to horizontal rotation has a negative current but no positive current. Now we put the first and second circuits together. You must be careful that the horizontal DC motor connection is done correctly. In fact, the entire fix focus system should work automatically all the time and during the day and night. And does not require any manual adjustment. All we have to do manually is clean the dish reflector every week. Until next program goodbye.